Hey guys, uh, I am coming back from my trip up to the North Shore, specifically Brudeau Bay, and um, heading back to Fairbanks. Uh, and I'm at the uh, south end of the Dalton Highway, and I'm about, I'm about to turn off to head to Fairbanks. Um, crazy trip, the destination, you know, <laughs> the uh, saying is, uh, it's not the destination, it's the uh, journey. Well, definitely wasn't the destination. Uh, uh, Prudhoe Bay is an active oil field, and it's just not... Uh, not the best thing. I was, it was, you know, there's snow and uh, oil derricks, heavy equipment, uh, all these things that uh, could run you over and uh, kill you quickly. <laughs> so it wasn't like the best. Anyway, a uh, beautiful uh, journey though. Uh, just uh, if you uh, took a look at any of my um, uh, uh, like time lapse uh, stuff, it's just amazing. Uh, but I did want to uh, thank um, a couple of people, uh, Yoni, uh, um, my buddy who I work with, uh, inspired me to uh, go on to this trip. He did it last year. Uh, and uh, two guys, too, um, uh, Fred and uh, Dave from um, Dirt Every Day. Uh, they really um, taught me that uh, I have no clue about uh, Jeeps and vehicles and uh, I just decided, hey, you know, I can't do what they do. Uh, so I'm just, uh, I was in a situation where uh, I had three vehicles and for various reasons they were um, dead, going or gone. Uh, I sold everything and uh, I just bought a, uh, uh, a Jeep Rubicon and uh, it was, uh, it's definitely enough. It's the best you can, I think it's the best you can get uh, off a of production vehicle. And uh, in, in addition to that, I bought the plug-in hybrid version uh, just because uh, of um, my commuting situation and it makes complete sense. But um, I just wanted to show you all the things that uh, I did and uh, basically inspired by the, the guys that I uh, um, just talked about. So let me show you real quick. Sorry about the camera working. Not a professional. So obviously, uh, I got the iPhone going. Uh, iPad with, GP, uh, with uh, Gaia GPS. Uh, you know, Rubicon 4XE. Um, let's see, so my buddy Yoni spent years getting his uh, uh, Jeep ready. I didn't have that long. I actually got everything ready within a couple weeks. Uh, literally tore out the back seats uh, and uh, put a platform in there and uh, put a Harbor Freight 56 inch toolbox and I'll show you what's in there in a little bit. Uh, it just has all my stuff. And uh, I sleep in the, uh, obviously in that space. When I'm driving, all that stuff that's on the cabinet is on the bottom. So everything's really tight and compact and, um, you know, good for me. Uh, backside, uh, there's a table. You know, these, these table things. Really great, definitely used it. Uh, high lift jack. Uh, I was told to bring fuel. So 15 gallons, uh, a bucket to do stuff, which I won't mention. Uh, oh, my license plate, but try to scratch that out. Um, see, on top, you'll see a canopy. This Iron Man is a, uh, a shower, believe it or not. Uh, so here's my fridge. That's my power supply. It's a blue Yeti. It, it, uh, I, my fridge, the fridges that I had always killed my battery. So I was just like, I need a separate power supply uh, to do that. And uh, above, I'll show you, is uh, 
the solar that powers the blue yeti you know standard jeep tools and uh you know that traction pads and stuff uh let's see so this is my storage and i think i i actually locked it but just you kind of get the point food clothing uh stuff and more stuff um so i i do search and rescue so uh that's my gear on top but underneath of it is actually 15 gallons of water because hopefully i can make it to moab because uh dave and uh, uh fred inspired me and uh that's all my uh, common tools uh all bagged up um nothing crazy on the uh, i guess um you know i got one of those fording things which is cool i was ex-army and uh we used to use these things so i i i, used, I did that uh and uh one of my buddies is a serious desert racing guy so uh he said you know one extra tire is enough so i bought two luckily i didn't need, need anything and uh got a winch up there so that's basically it um thing took me through uh all the way up to the top to the end of the road and uh you know it worked so thanks that's it